पिछले क्लास में हम लोग होमोफिजम के बारे में पढ़े थे होमोफिक इमेज के बारे में ही पढ़े थे अब आगे इस पर बेस्ड कुछ एग्जाम्पल देख लेते हैं सी एग्जाम्पल वन शो दैट एवरी होमोमोर्फिक इमेज ऑफ ए कॉम्यूटेटिव रिंग इज कॉम्यूटेटिव सी द सोल्यूशन लेट आर बी ए कॉम्यूटेटिव रिंग आर ए कॉम्यूटेटिव रिंग है मतलब ए बी इज इक्वल टू बी ए होगा आर के लिए लेट एफ बी ए होमोमोर्फिक मैपिंग ऑफ आर ऑन टू आर डैश एफ एक मैपिंग हो गया आर से आर डैश में ऑन टू मैपिंग हो गया देन वी नीड टू शो दैट आर डैश इज ए होमोमोर्फिक आर डैश इज ऑल्सो कॉम्यूटेटिव देखो एवरी होमोर्फिक इमेज होमोर्फिक इमेज हो गया तो उसको दिखाना है कॉम्यूटेटिव है देन आर डैश इज ए होमोर्फिक इमेज ऑफ आर सी लेट ए डैश बी डैश बी एनी टू एलिमेंट ऑफ आर डैश देन एफ ए विल बी ए डैश एंड एफ बी विल बी बी डैश फॉर सम ए बी इन आर वाई बिकॉज दिस एफ इज ए मैपिंग फ्रॉम आर टू आर डैश सो एफ ए विल गो टू ए डैश एंड एफ बी विल गो टू बी डैश Why? Because f is on to R dash. So A dash into B dash can be written as f A into f B. It means it is f A B, and so it is equal to f B A because A B equal to B A since R is commutative. It means it is equal to f B into f A, so it is equal to B dash into A dash. So we get A dash B dash is equal to B dash A dash. It means the ring r dash is a commutative ring so the example is solved that every homomorphic image of a commutative ring is commutative next come to another example to if r is a ring with unit element 1 and phi is a homomorphism of r on to r dash then we need to show that phi 1 is the unit element of r dash See here, one is the unit element of R, and phi is a mapping from R to R dash. Then phi one is the unit element of R dash, provided phi is a homomorphism. See the solution. Since phi is a homomorphism of R onto R dash, therefore R dash is a homomorphic image of R. If this one is the unit element of R, as is given in the example. Then phi one will be in R dash. Why? Because this phi is a homomorphism from R to R on to R dash. Let A dash be any element of R dash. Then A dash can be written as phi a for some a in R, since phi is given. It is given that phi is on to R dash. See here on to R dash. So we have phi one into a is equal to phi one into phi a. Why? Because phi one into a is equal to phi one into phi a. Because this a dash is your phi a, it is can be written as phi one a. So it is equal to phi a, and phi a is your a dash from here. Also, a dash into phi one is equal to phi a into phi one because a dash is phi a. This is equal to phi a one. This is equal to phi a means it is again a dash. So phi one a dash is equal to a dash phi one. It is equal to a dash. It means Phi one is the unit element of R dash. Next, after this we have definition of maximal ideal, and after maximal ideal we will discuss prime ideals. See the definition of maximal ideal. An ideal S which is not equal to R in a ring R. Here we have a ring R. An ideal S is not equal to R is said to be a maximal ideal of R. If, whenever u is an ideal of R such that S is contained in u and u is contained in R, then either R is equal to u or S is equal to u. See, if these conditions hold, then either if either R is u or R is S, then we say that this S is our maximal ideal. In other words, an ideal S of a ring R is said to be maximal ideal. If there exists no ideal properly contained in R, which itself properly contains S, it means if it is impossible to find an ideal which lies between S and the full ring R, means either R is equal to U or R S is equal to U. For example, in the ring of integers i, the ideal six is not maximal ideal. 
Why? Because it is properly contained in the ideal three. We have ideal three, which contains ideal six. So this ideal six is not maximal. Which in turn, and this ideal three is contained in I. Means ideal six is contained in ideal three. Ideal three is contained in I. So this ideal six is not maximal. On the other hand, five is a maximal ideal. Since the only ideal properly containing phi is I itself. So there is now there is a theorem. Let us see the theorem. An ideal S of the ring of integers i is maximal if and only if S is generated by some prime integer. It means um, S will be maximal if S is generated by a prime integer. Or if S is generated by a prime integer, then X will be S will be maximal. So it is if and only if type theorem. So we need to take two cases separately. See the theorem, uh, proof of the theorem. We know that every ideal of the ring of integers i is a principal ideal. Suppose S is an ideal of i generated by a small p. So S can be written as small p within bracket since p and minus p both generate the same ideal therefore we can take p as positive now we are to prove that first s is maximal if p is prime and second p is prime if s is maximal so we will discuss this case one first first we shall should prove one let p be a prime integer such that this p within square small bracket is equal to s means s is generated by p. So if p is prime, then we need to show that s is maximal. See, let t be an ideal of i such that s is contained in t, which is contained in i. Since t is also a principal ideal of i, let t is equal to q within its small bracket, means t is generated by q, where q is some positive integer. Now see, from this, s is contained in t, it means it implies that this is p within a small bracket is contained in t. So this p will be belonging to t. And this p can be written as x into q. Why? Because this t is equal to t is generated by q. So this p belongs to this set x q such that x belongs to y. Or p can be written as r into q for some positive integer r. All p's will be of the type x into q. Take x is equal to r. So p is equal to r into q. Since it is given that p is prime, we have taken earlier that p is a prime. Therefore, this q is either one or q is equal to p. Since for a prime number, if prime number is expressed as a product of two integers, then one of either one of them is one or uh, one of them is equal to the prime number. So if q is equal to one, suppose q is equal to one, then we have p is equal to q within a small bracket means this is one within a small bracket. So it is simply equal to i. Means it is. And if q is equal to p, then if you have t is equal to q within a small bracket, take q is equal to p. And it is equal to p within a small bracket. So this is equal to s. So see, t is either i or t is equal to s. Just either t is equal to i or t is equal to s. Hence, this p within a small bracket is a maximal ideal of i. So we have proved first part if s if p is prime then s is maximal now we will prove this if p is prime p is prime if s is maximal means we take x maximal and then prove that p is prime see now we shall prove to second part let p within within a small bracket is equal to s be a maximal ideal means p is, this s is generated by p we are to show that small p is prime let us suppose that p is a composite integer. Suppose p is not prime, it is a composite integer, means p can be written as m into n, where neither m is equal to one nor n is equal to one. Then it is obvious that this p is contained in m and it is contained in i. But since this p is a maximal ideal, since it is a maximal ideal, therefore, either this m is equal to p or this m is equal to i from the definition of maximal ideal we have discussed earlier. See, two cases, if m is equal to i, then this m is equal to one, which is a contradiction because we have taken m not equal to one. 
if m then since m is not equal to i so m can be equal to p if m equal to p then m must be equal to l into p for some integer l since each element of this p is a multiple of p so this p can be written as m into n m into n means l p n means p into l n but p is not equal to 0 therefore this ln will be 1 see p is not equal to 0 so this ln will be 1 why because this p this p cancel each other so ln will be 1 this gives n is equal to 1 see here we get n is equal to 1 which is again a contradiction which is again a contradiction so this p must be a prime integer so in the second part we have taken uh, this P is equal to s a maximal ideal and we come to the conclusion that p is a prime integer so this theorem is proved next you have one more theorem for today let s1 s2 be two ideals of a ring r and let s1 plus s2 is equal to the set containing elements of the type s1 plus s2 such that s1 belongs to capital s1 and small s2 belongs to capital s2 then S1 plus S2 is an ideal of R generated by S1 union S2. So first we need to show that this is an ideal of R. See its proof. Let A1 plus A2 belongs to S1 plus S2 and B1 plus B2 belongs to S1 plus S2. Then A1, B1 will be in S1 and A2, B2 will be in S2, S2 as per the definition of summation of ideals. Next, we have a1 plus A2 minus B1 plus B2 can be written as A1 minus B1 plus A2 minus B2. Since it is given that S1 is an ideal, therefore A1 B1 belongs to S1, it implies that A1 minus B1 belongs to S1 as per the definition of an ideal. Similarly, A2 minus B2 belongs to S2 since S2 is also an ideal. Therefore, A1 minus B1 plus A2 minus B2, it belongs to S1 plus S2. Why? Because this A1 minus B1 is in S1 and A2 minus B2 is in S2. Therefore, A1 plus A2 minus B1 plus B2 belongs to S1 plus S2. It implies that S1 plus S2 is a subgroup of the additive group of R. Next, let a small r be any element of this R capital R. Then R into A1 plus A2 can be written as RA1 plus RA2, and it belongs to S1 plus S2. Why? Because this RA1 is in S1, and RA2 is in S2. Similarly, A1 plus A2 into R equal to A1R plus A2R, it again belongs to S1 plus S2, since A1R belongs to S1 and A2R belongs to S2. Hence, this S1 plus S2 is an ideal of R. See, from this and from this, we get that S1 plus S2 is an ideal of R. Next, since 0 belongs to S1 and also 0 belongs to S2, therefore, obviously, S1 is contained in S1 plus S2. And this S2 is also contained in S1 plus S2. Therefore, union of S1 and S2 is contained in S1 plus S2. Thus, this S1 plus S2 is an, is an ideal of R containing S1 union S2. See here. Also, if S is an ideal of R containing S1 union S2, then S must contain S1 plus S2. Thus, this S1 plus S2 is the smallest ideal of R containing S1 union S2. It means S1 plus S2 can be written as S1 union S2 within a small bracket. Means S1 plus S2 is generated by S1 union S2. So this theorem is also proved. Uh, later on, we will discuss some more results. Uh, till then, it is over for today. And if you have any query, any difficulty, you just give me a message.